Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to video 15 of the HQ lab series. Uh, today we are going to be getting ICE joined to the Active Directory. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so within ICE we're going to pop up to uh, Administration. We're going to go down to Identity Management. And we're going to go to external identity sources. OK, we're going to pop on over to Active Directory on the left hand side. We're going to go to Add. OK, so the join point name is just a, a name for our reference, so we'll call it own domain. And then the active directory is the, as it says, the actual domain name. OK, we'll click submit on there. OK, and it's asking us, would we like to join this domain? We'll click yes. The other option is, if that doesn't come up, you uh, highlight here and click join. Uh, AD username, so we're going to use the administrator account for this. Uh, in the production environment, you would uh, <coughs> want to create a separate account for accessing stuff like ICE and Firepower for services like this. Um, we'll say yes to store credentials. We'll click OK. OK, and that's completed. OK, so we'll close that there. Uh, just to confirm this, we'll pop on over to our Active Directory. Go into Users and Computers. We will go into computers and we should see yep our ice node there so it's been added to ad as a as a computer okay and we can test this so if we go to we highlight this and click test user We have a user in there called JP. We'll pop the password in. Uh, in fact, before we do that, uh, what we'll do is we'll come up to groups on the AD that we just added. And we'll say add. And we want to populate ice with the groups within ad or the groups that we want to use so that we can start to create rules okay and i don't think that's the screen i'm after we'll go over to home domain over to groups ah okay I clicked the wrong one so we want select groups from active directory I click add group which is a, a manual way of adding it if you know the common name yeah and we'll just click retrieve groups OK, and that's all the groups that our Active Directory knows about. Um, so just to make things simple, we're going to select them all. 
and click OK. Okay, we'll save that. And we're obviously talking to the domain because we pulled them groups, but we'll just do one last test just for belt and braces. Okay, yeah, we'll highlight our AD node here and click on test user. Yep, we know we have a user in there called JP. We'll pop the password in and we'll say test. Okay, yeah, and it's pulled back all the information that AD knows about that and also which groups it belongs to. So we can start now to create our policy based based on groups. Okay, so that is how to add eyes to the domain and get it talking. Hopefully this has been informative for you. If it has, please like, share, subscribe and thank you for viewing.